In this video, I'm going to show how you can create the in three in conditions to where it solves this benching condition where if you only want the bench to solve fully and if and if it's only solving partially, like right here, if it would only solve partially to the surface, then you would have it just continue the original slope up until you get to the next full bench. So once we get to the next full bench, it'll continue sloping this way. So I'm going to demonstrate how to create that. So I'll open up just this new blank. Okay, so now that I'm in the blank to start out, I'll do right click, add new component and condition. And I want to set this at the origin of zero, zero. And I want it to go up a vertical distance of 10 at a slope of one. And I'll click finish. And then this point, I want to make sure that it checks for interception, interception and places the point there. So that's good. So now I'll add my next in condition start at the bench, come out, and then I want it to go horizontal distance of 5 at a slope of minus 2%. And then I'll click finish. And then here I want to make sure that the priority is set to 2. Hit apply and then close. So now if I go and test the template, you can see that it's going out and it's finding the bench, but it's finding it halfway through. So we want it to continue the original slope. So to do that, we need to add another condition. And we're going to select this point here. We'll come out around to close to this bench point right here. And then we'll go up at the same slope. Let's just put in a vertical distance of 3 with the slope at 1. And we'll finish that. And so we want this point here, we want it to be infinite. We don't want this point to check for interception. And we want this point, we do not want it to construct. And then this point we can edit it to where it is constrained to this point, a uh, vertical distance of something small. Let's just put point 0.1 for now. Apply and close. And let's test it. OK, so it draws it just during that point. And then let's add our third in condition. So we'll start here at the bench. We want to go out to this point right here. And we'll come out here. We can edit that later. We want it to go a vertical distance of, say, 4 at a slope of 1. And we can finish that. We want this point to be infinite. We want the component set to priority 3 to be the last to solve. And then we want this point constrained at a slope of minus 0.2 at an offset of 5. OK. So then if we go and test this now, you can see that it's drawing it right there up until it finds the full bench, then it's continuing to solve. Now to get rid of this little gap right here, we can just go back to this point, set this to a value of 0. Now when we test it, you can see it's drawn seamlessly. That's how you do it.